Hi, it's Earth Juice. Coming up this week, talking primates, sniffer dogs on a new scent, fat bergs turned into fuel, and logical bees. Scientists reported in this week's Journal of Current Biology that the lip-smacking and gurgling sounds made by geladas, an old world monkey, share similarities to human speech and could perhaps be compared to the early sounds that our human ancestors made. Dr. Thor Bergman from the University of Michigan revealed that the geladas make some vocalizations that have speech-like properties and that this is the first time that this has been shown in non-human primates. The call of the gelada who live in the Ethiopian highlands is described as a distinctive wobbly warbly kind of sound. And calls such as these are unusual in the primate world. The calls of other apes and monkeys are usually only around one or two syllables long. So researchers had wondered how language evolved in humans, but this new research shows that geladas may hold the key to understanding the earliest forms of speech. While it's well known that dogs are used to sniff out narcotics and explosives, the US Fish and Wildlife Service has adapted this approach to help them in the search for illegal wildlife products. Hoping to combat the trade on animal parts such as elephant ivory and rhino horn, four retrievers have been specially trained and will work at key ports, ready to sniff out any illicit wildlife products smuggled across US borders. Deputy Chief Ed Grace explained that the rising global trade in wildlife parts is driving some species perilously close to extinction, adding that the dog's phenomenal sense of smell will be an invaluable tool for the authorities to help them catch wildlife smugglers. While hungry Londoners eat their way around some of the finest restaurants in the world, and some of the worst, the city's ancient sewers are clogging up with cooking fat. But with fossil fuel stocks ebbing away, plans are afoot to turn this kitchen byproduct into sustainable energy at the world's biggest fat-fueled power plant. With 30 tonnes of fatty waste removed from the capital's sewers and kitchens every single day, the new power plant could provide enough renewable electricity for 40,000 homes. And not only will this create sustainable fuel, it will also ease the costly problem of removing 40,000 fatty blockages every year, at a cost of £12 million. And finally, published this week in Current Biology, scientists at Queen Mary University and the Zoological Society of London have discovered why bees follow each other when they're looking for nectar. Worker bees visit thousands of plants every single day, but by copying the flower colour choices of other bees and applying simple logic, they can work out which flowers provide the best sources of nectar. This enables the bees to avoid time-consuming and energy-sapping flights and head straight for the good stuff. <laughs> That's this week's Earth Juice. To keep up to date with the very latest wildlife and science news, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Some birds are even on acid. They will lay their wings over an ant's nest. The terrified ants squirt formic acid all over the bird's feathers, 